Did you know November is an international holiday for writers? Newsline reporter Emily Roberts tells us more. The month of November is National Novel Writing Month, or NaNoWriMo for short. The purpose of NaNoWriMo is to challenge authors to start and finish an entire novel within the month of November, writing up to 2,000 words per day. Participants of NaNoWriMo can compete against themselves to write at least 50,000 words in one month. And if you win... The book is the prize. Like, at the end of the month, you have a manuscript. I can't think of anything that's more rewarding than that. If you're trying to get a new story started or a new novel, it's a great way to just get a first draft cranked out. Some have found that with quarantine and isolation, it's easier to make time for writing. I also found, you know, back in March and April that being creative and having very specific goals was helpful to me in just coping. It gives me an excuse to be like, ah, guys, I can't hang out. Verona. Some draw their inspiration from writing prompts and events created by the official website. Every author takes a different approach to getting into the flow of writing. I tack up like pictures and notes and uh, relationships between characters and pictures of people I find on Pinterest. I like to use fountain pens and stuff and uh, it's just fun for me. I switch inks every day. I have a nifty timer that I do writing sprints with to get me going. One of the biggest benefits of joining the challenge is finding a writing community to help push you along. If you go on the website, you can set your region and it'll put you in contact with other people in your area who are doing NaNoWriMo. Between these four authors alone, NaNoWriMo helped to produce 12 books total, with more in the works. National Novel Writers Month serves as a reminder that when you carve out time for your passions, you can make it happen. This is Emily Roberts reporting for BYU Newsline, signing out.